when I accept this invitation to make the presentation in TEDx with the name nuclear transplantation or why I don't like the terms repairing baby, that the following question arose. Why it will be interesting for non-professional audience? How it will be compatible with the general atmosphere of TEDx? And why the society is so wary for our experiments, for our clinical investigations? And uh, I would like to ask the uh, very simple question for this audience. Who knows what is meaning the term of three parents? Three parents, baby. Please push your hands. Who knows about this? According to my preliminary measurement, only few people even heard about this term, and I would like and I will try to explain you what is it meaning. If you have the undersalted cucumbers, what are you doing? You add the salt. And uh, all the, our technologists, IVF technologists, is combined for the adding of salt to increase in the environment for the embryos. But sometimes it could not help, and in this situation it will be better to transfer these cucumbers in the fresh solution. It is the main thing which could explain of uh, the grain of our experiments, but uh, I would like to begin from the beginning. What I mean? That the IVF era began in the, for the humanity in July 1878. That in this day, it was uh, delivered the first IVF baby, the baby which conceived outside the body of mothers. And this embryo has been transferred inside the uterus of the mother. And it was the big breakthrough. The pioneers of this uh, uh, investigation, and it was the Robert Edwards, Patrick Thamstow, and in uh, 2010, Robert Edwards has been awarded by the Nobel Prize for this great big slow for all humanity. And for 2018, around 8 million babies was born over the world. But what is the stage of this kind of treatment, I would like to remind you. The first stage, it is a hormonal stimulation. After this, the doctors receive the oocytes from the woman. Another stage, it is uh, uh, adding the sperm for the embryos. And the last stage, it transfers the embryos. It is a very simple procedure. Encountered me in the end of 80s, and I begin to work in this field of the medical investigation, medical practice, and in the beginning everything very simple and very understandable. That you receive the eggs, make the fertilization of the eggs, and after this transfer the embryos, and after this is two weeks uh, of the expectation, or you receive the success, or it will be the failure. But uh, in the late of 90s, I have met uh, first in my practice the situation when the embryos stop their growing in the day two, day three, and they did not develop more. You could see in the left picture the development of the normal embryo, and uh, in the right corner of every picture you have the counting of the hours. Embryo is developed, but the right picture, the embryo developed uh, by the not proper way, and they stopped their development. And uh, I would like to remind you that uh, first time in my life I have met this situation in the end of 90s. We tried to help these patients make a lot of attempts, but in spite of this we could not achieve the pregnancy. And we proposed for this lady, uh, for this woman, uh, the using of donor's eggs, we achieved the pregnancy in the first cycle. She delivered two very pretty, beautiful baby girls. 
But she said to me later that it was a big psychological blow for her, the understanding that she, could, she could not have the, her own baby. Time by time, we uh, met the situation in our practice, but nobody over the world could propose anything except the using of donor eggs. And only in 2003, the, I have read the publication of this uh, doctor, Dr. Zhang, who achieved the pregnancy after the reconstitution of spirit transfer by pronucleus transfer. But unfortunately, this pregnancy has been stopped and uh, babies did not survive. But at least it will be the beginning of a new era. Unfortunately, in this time, American Food and Drug Administration, FDA, banned all this uh, procedure in the United States and over the world, and everything has been stopped, uh, all of this investigation. That I understand for non-professional auditorium, auditorium, it is very difficult to understand the core of this procedure. And in this picture, you could see how it moves. It's that in the left side you see the patient egg, in the right side you see the donor eggs, the uh, eggs fertilized by the sperm, and after this, the doctors uh, uh, control the development of embryos, and after receiving of these nuclear materials, genetic materials of father and mother, so-called pronucleus, they push out this genetical material from the uh, zygote, it is the name of the one cell of embryo, and transfer this pronucleus in the donor cytoplasm. As a result, we receive the reconstructed embryo, which contained in the nucleus DNA father and mother, and the cytoplasm very few genes of the donor. And uh, when this experiment has been begun, the journalist invents the name of this procedure, three-parent baby, because the baby has the DNA father, mother, and donor. And uh, I would like to remind you that this procedure has been stopped, but the scientists, scientific development is continued. And uh, it was a lot of experiments in the animal models, in mice. And 2010, the American group of Maita Lipov produced the first monkeys after this procedure, after the pronucleus transfer. And uh, it was like the ending of the experimental era and the beginning of the clinical. Because uh, the logic of scientific development, the first of all animal studies, the next phase is the studies on the non-human primate, and the next test object is the human. And in 2015, United Kingdom Parliament, uh, first in the life, in the world, accepted the law about the legality of this procedure in United Kingdom. Before this, it was a lot experiment, and I would like to explain what is the indication which push the United Kingdom Parliament to accept this procedure. It is the special class of the mitochondrial diseases, and this mitochondrial diseases uh, is uh, what is the reason of mitochondrial diseases? That uh, I said to you that our nucleus contained 25,000 genes of father and mother, and uh, the uh, 37 genes it contains uh, inside the cytoplasm. And if it is a mutation in these genes, uh, the woman is carrier of these genes, she could deliver the sick babies, very severe diseases, so-called mitochondrial diseases. And the history of this simple lady from the small town in England, Sunderland, it was a pushing for United Kingdom Parliament to accept this law. This lady lost seven children. She delivered six babies who uh, were died in the neonatal period, and only one, his son Eduardo, survived, and he uh, died at uh, 25 years. And this lady, 
understood that only this procedure could help her. And she wrote very smart uh, words from my point of view. It is not about being selfish. It's not about wanting designer babies. It's not about doing injustice to people with disabilities. It's about trying to create a healthy baby. It's about trying to give a child a future. And uh, uh, this law has been accepted in uh, 2015, like I said, by the United Kingdom Parliament. And for this moment, it is only one country over the world which uh, has the law for legality of this. You could ask, what is the situation in Ukraine? In Ukraine, there is the golden middle of the country without regulation of this procedure. But all our following experiments approved like the clinical trial by our scientific uh, research department. But uh, what is the history of development of this approach in Ukraine? In 2013, embryologist Pablo Mazur proposed us to begin the experiment with nuclear transfer. Clearly, I concerned for this experiment like for long year experimental job. And uh, in the beginning, we could not receive the reconstruction. After this, we could not receive the development of embryos. And our first embryos uh, has some genetical defects which could not uh, give us possibility to transfer for the woman. But once, we found the embryos after the reconstruction, which has been genetically normal. Very interesting the history of this woman. She has the 34 years. She has the 14 years, the unsuccessful infertility treatment. And as a result, it was the first normal embryo during her life. From one point of view, we understood that we have met this situation. But from another point of view, we must uh, we faced uh, with the answer for a very simple question uh, that uh, if we achieve the pregnancy, this baby will be healthy or not. Nobody over the world could answer for this moment for this question, and our prediction has been based for the scientific investigation for the animal models for the non human primate. And uh, sure, after the written consent of the patient, we transfer the embryos and achieve the pregnancy. It was very surprising for us that we wait until the uh, 12 weeks, and in 12 weeks we organize a press conference and inform that we achieve the first uh, pronuclear transfer pregnancy over the world. We wait this situation. <laughs> yes. But I would like to show you again this Dr. Zhang. He is my friend. We have met in Ukraine in 2013. He called in the clinic and said, I would like to visit your clinic. I am in Kyiv. When I asked him, when, uh, uh, why did you come in Kyiv? He said, my wife, she is from Ukraine, and I came for my wife's family. It was a private visit. We continue our friendship, but for this moment, we don't... Uh, how to continue to discuss any question about the nuclear transfers, that uh, his investigation, our investigation, provided separately. But in September 2016, the all information agency over the world informed that first repairing baby was born. The baby was born in April 2016. It was the baby after the spindle, another procedure. Transfer, but it was a three parent baby, and uh, the mother of this baby has two sick children who were died in the early age after the mitochondrial diseases. That clearly it was not very pleasant information for me because sure that we hope to be first over the world. But I overcame my jealous and congratulate in the, this day Dr. Zhang, and after this, he invited us for the conference in New York, and we begin to continue IOC in scientific collaboration. But uh, who is the first? That uh, I would like to explain is the difference between this procedure. That we, uh, that Dr. Zank used uh, another method of the creation of the embryos, reconstruction. 
that as I showed, uh, first of all, we fertilize the eggs, and after this, uh, that makes a reconstruction. And instead of this, Dr. Zhang, uh, first of all, reconstructs the eggs, and after this, they makes fertilization. It's a spindle. As a result, that our baby is the second repairing baby over the world, and the first baby after the pronuclear transfer over the world, and the first after spindle, and only one is this. Our baby was born in January of 2017. This girl was healthy, and it was the first baby over the world uh, after the pronuclear transfer. What are the next? First of all, for this moment, we achieve the delivering of the four babies, even four uh, women are pregnant. That's uh, our main goal of our investigation, the detection of indication for this procedure. And the uh, natural question that we continue the following up of the babies. Because for this moment, that only five babies over the world with repairing status, and for them, they live in Ukraine. And uh, I would like to explain you from the beginning why I don't like the term of three parent baby. That uh, this term has been invented by a journalist in the beginning of 2000s, and from journalist's point of view, it is very attractive. Three parent baby, it's like sensation. But the first our patient, the first baby of the world, pronuclear transfer, she said to me that I hate this term. I think that it's uh, how to destroy the human being and human respecting. It is not three parent baby. It's baby my of my husband, or it's babies of love, because we are love, we're children, and all this. Thank you.